I'm Nenu Kitty Chan and today we're going to be taking a look at some of my favorites from Winter Wonderfest 2019. So starting out with Nendroids, I have to mention the new annual Snow Miku Nendroid and this year she is the Snow Princess version which looks absolutely adorable. I've of course already pre-ordered her because she looks so cute. Her hair that twirls down from the translucent blue and white looks so cute. She comes with a crown and her little buddy friend. Her face plates are adorable. Her dress is perfect. She is like everything I've ever wanted in a Snow Miku and I can't wait to get her. The next few characters I actually didn't expect to get Nendroids because they already do have Nendroids. Be it they are kind of old, but that is for the L and Light Yagami characters from Death Note. Of course, these ones will be updated with much better quality and accessories and the look. I will put the old ones on the screen at some point as well just for a comparison with the pictures, but I can't wait to see them and I actually might pick up the new ones. The next couple of Nendroids they showed off were the Oi and Chieki Nendroids from Yuryu Camp and I do already have the Nadeshko Nendroid that I did do a review for on my channel and I also have the Rin Nendroid on pre-order so these are very exciting because I do want to collect all four. I love the anime and I can't wait to see what different camping items that these two will come with. Next, they're coming out with a Shubi Nendroid from the No Game No Life movie, and I actually haven't seen the movie yet, only the series, but I love her character design and I've seen all the figures being made for her, but I'm so glad she's getting a Nendroid because it looks so cute. I love it with her little hood. The next few Nendroids I also wanted to mention are from Bang Dream, and that is the Aya and Ran Nendroids. Now, I haven't seen Bang Dream yet, it's on my list, but they are two characters that absolutely are my figure aesthetic on opposite sides. So Aya is all pink and frilly with her dress and bows and her hair and everything's just cute and adorable and I want her. And then Ran is just black and red and badass and I want her as well. So maybe by the time they're out, I will have watched the anime. Continuing on, Good Smile is also releasing some more Nendroid, more dress-up items for our Nendroids. Yay! I love when they put out more dress-up items. It just gives us more creativity with posing and photography. So this time they're putting out some gothic Lolita and Lolita attire for both the boy and girl Nendroids. One is more of a lighter version and the other is more blacks, whites, and purples. I personally love both of them and I can't wait to swap around my Nendroid heads with these. They're also releasing some Nendroid more bunny suits for our Nendroids, headpiece and all. Um, I love it. <laughs> I can't wait to pose some of my Nendroids in these little bunny suit outfits. I think it's absolutely adorable. Um, of course, if you were to pose like a Super Sonico in one with a like figure of her, I think it'd be super cute with the like chippy version and then a bigger version. I don't know, but I'm gonna put all of my Nendroids in these when they come out. So moving on to scale figures, I have to start with my girl Johanne from Love Live Sunshine, and this is a one seven scale figure by Alter, so it's gonna be incredible. And it's gonna probably be a little pricey, but she looks so good. Um, it's her Halloween outfit. I remember seeing an unpainted prototype at last Wonderfest, and now she looks incredible, and I want her so bad. <laughs> Another figure that caught my eye was the 17 Scale 02 figure by Kotobukiya, and she looks so slick, her outfit. Even painted looks like the same material of the outfit she has in the anime. It's absolutely incredible. I love the way her hair flows down and of course everything looks super sexy. <laughs> but she looks so good. I'm not sure if I'll pick her up myself, but 
Just had to give her some kind of honorable mention too. I also want to mention the 110 scale Rin figure by Alter, which is painted now as well. It's her sitting on her scooter from the show and oh, it looks so cute. I just wish it wasn't a 110 scale. I really like to keep to the 1 8th and 1 7th in my collections, but we'll see how she turns out and her price point because I really would love to have her. She's just a little small for my liking. So Mega House is also up on their Pokemon figure game with an unpainted prototype of all of the Eeveelutions on a platform. It looks like it's going to be super cute and very tempting. Um, I haven't picked up any of the Mega House Pokemon figures because it is an intense collection to start, but this one is going to be pretty hard to resist. Lastly, we have yet another Cardcaptor Sakura figure by Good Smile Company. Of course, you all remember the extravagant one from a year or two ago that came out and it was incredible and this one is even more intense and wow, like I have no space for that but I had to put her in this video because she looks absolutely amazing. The amount of like detail to her dress and her pose up in the air on a card with her staff. Incredible. I can't wait to see it painted. I obviously probably won't be getting her, <laughs> um, but wow. So those were all of my favorites from Winter Wonderfest 2019. I hope you enjoyed and let me know your favorites in the comments below. Of course, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to follow me on a more regular basis, I do have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter under the same name here. Otherwise, don't forget to smile and I'll see you next time.